In this video, we're going to look at the console modification that I did so that we can accommodate the various screens that we need as we're traveling down the road. Namely, the rear view camera, tire pressure monitoring system, hands-free cell phone, and option for other instruments. And what you see here is the actual insert that I've pulled out. And if you go onto my website, I will have a dimensioned drawing showing the various parts and the assembly so you can build one if you wish. It's basically made out of 3 8 inch acrylic here and here and it's two levels. And then on the bottom we have a couple of half inch pieces of starboard and just a piece of plywood and with some little protection on there, a little carpeting. And that allows this to fit into the tray fairly securely. And we have here the center console tray in a 2016 GMC Heavy Duty, and I imagine the 1500 is probably the same. USB, two accessory outlets, and a 120 volt inverted outlet. And I designed the insert basically just to fit in here, like that. And it doesn't require any strapping down, and I mean it's fairly solid, it's fairly solid. Uh, it can move around a little bit, but not too bad. And then the devices all fit on here. And I first got the idea from this monitor, and this is the monitor for the TPMS system. And it has a little metal plate on there. And it came with a magnetic base, although this is different. This is a RAM base. But the concept is still the same. You just basically just set it on there any way you'd like to. And the camera monitor uh, it has basically a 7 8 ball, which I could not find a third-party ball for that uh, to mount on the RAM mount. So I found this magnetic mount kit that includes several magnetic mounts plus the little metal plates. And this comes with a handful of little self-adhesive steel plates. And then it also comes with three self-adhesive magnet mounts that have uh, three in VHB in the back so this is a complete kit but all we're really going to use is one of the metal plates here and actually I've ordered some more uh, and you can buy metal plates for this specifically and uh, although these are smaller and they might fit the display a little bit better so the other ones aren't in yet so for now at least I'm going to try one of these and I don't ever envision myself not using a magnetic mount so I'm going to actually just mount one of these round ones here so now we have our camera and our tire pressure monitoring system, and they're both viewable at the same time. Let me adjust this just a little more yet. And finally, I installed my cell phone on this one, as well as I have another remote for a new project coming up that I install here. But, you know, you could put anything here you wanted to or leave that one off. And I can see them all at the same time. I can still reasonably reach the controls. And if I have to remove one to get to a control, I can just remove it real quick. In case if I have an issue with reception, uh, this is actually what came with the RVI brake tire pressure monitor. And I can just simply put that on a dash, and this is a magnet as well. And using the magnets also allows you to remove these real quickly, so you can store them and so that you're not going to get them stolen. And what maybe is most important, I still retain my cup holders. And I know I'm going to get this question, so I figured I would just answer it right off the bat. Isn't mounting the monitors lower going to result in a weaker signal? It's hard to predict where the strongest signal will be in the cab of the truck. At microwave frequencies, which are 900 MHz and above, some weird juju is happening. Phenomena like obstacle gain, diffraction, and signal polarization all have a bearing on this. And if you want to know more about that, go to the website, but I'm not going to explain it here. So the short answer is, it varies. You may find a stronger signal down by the console or up by the dash, who knows? So my advice is just try multiple locations and see what works best. Also, these monitors are not typically daylight readable, and if it's located on a dash, you can have a washout condition from the sunlight where you can't even see it. And quite often, it's much easier to see when it's located on a console away from the sunlight's glare.